Hello, thanks for dropping by. I'm Colin R. Parsons, I'm a children's author, and I'm running this video um, with the theme of steampunk. Wow, what is steampunk? Well, I've got a, a publisher called Crystal Peak Publishers. They're bringing out my new book in October called Big Gamer, which um, is, a, is a book set in a, an old gaming arcade, but they're also set in a competition. And this, the competition is all about steampunk. <gasps> oh no, steampunk, nobody knows what it's about. It's a strange kind of medium. But if you go onto their website, Crystal Peak Publishers, uh, and apply to the competi competition, maybe you send them a short story, all the details are on there. So what is steampunk? Well, initially in the 18th century, Victorian England, it's all steam-powered machinery, but it can, it can be a little bit of everything, which is merged into modern-day technology, basically. So you could have anything from steam trains to steam cars, maybe. Uh, you could have hot air balloons, zeppelins, and all that kind of stuff. You could have clocks, uh, clocks, wheels, and pulleys, and engines, and all that kind of thing. Now, the, the way you can merge it into a story, I'll get onto in a couple of seconds, but if you want to get into the real flavour of steampunk, there are a couple of movies out there which could give you a better idea. One of them is, um, I would say, steampunk personified because it's called Wild Wild West and it stars uh, Will Smith and Kevin Klein, I believe. Uh, that is set in the Wild West, but it's oh, it is so fantastic because it's got all kind of of old technology in there. I know it's set in the 18th century anyway, but they've kind of used trapdoors with all kind of levers and pulleys and uh, cogs and all that kind of stuff, which I think is fantastic. And that film would definitely give you a flavour of it. Now, a more modern approach, because you've got these post-apocalyptic stories and films. One, for instance, is Mad Max. Now, recently, I watched... Mad Max Fury Road. That has got so much steampunk stuff in there, it's absolutely bizarre. It's got long platforms that come down, which are run on chains with cogs that are releasing them. All the vehicles are all kinds of steampunk vehicles, actually. You know, big wheels with spikes coming out of them. Um, they've got big levers to change the gears. They've got flames shooting out of everywhere. Um, they've got big trailers on the back with tanks and uh, it's all this in the style of steampunk. So basically, if you're writing a short story about steampunk, um, you can use old type technology. So, for instance, I wrote a book a while ago called House of Dark, where these four children got trapped inside a house and the rooms moved around. In the centre of the house, I placed the most ginormous clock. Now, if you can imagine a huge clock and what the in the innards of a clock with all the, the massive cogs and the uh, the pendulums and all that kind of stuff. And this is the heart of steampunk. There's even fashion. If I check this on, <laughs> this is kind of steampunk, but you can get top hats. You can get canes to walk down the street. Handlebar moustaches. See, all the old style thing. Uh, pocket watches. Uh, Ladies can wear like long dresses with bustles on them and uh, like shorter top hats and maybe a pipe. It, it's anything or uh, anything you want actually. So steampunk covers a lot of stuff. So if you want to base a story on it, you could actually um I'm just thinking myself, uh, you could uh, you could have a load of zeppelins. You know, I, I read a book a long time ago called Airborne, where everybody was transported with zeppelins. Well, you know, like big airships. Well, you could use airships, and you could have attacking pirates and that kind of thing. Um, you could use, do, do you know, like the uh, the Nautilus with Captain Nemo. That's kind of steampunk as well, because you've got the Nautilus, which is this big ship in the shape of like a big shark or something, and then or a monster's face in the front, and then it disappears underwater like a submarine. And there's all pulleys and wheels and monsters uh, under the sea, so you can have that kind of scenario. The monster in the sea, you can have monsters in the air, you can have um, a post apocalyptic kind of world where technology and everything is run down, uh, everything's turned to dust, the cities are empty. There's, um, 
post-apocalyptic, like a zombie kind of world. And you could, perhaps people then, because they haven't got like the electronic kind of technology going on with phones and tablets and uh, I don't know, drones and that kind of thing, perhaps they've have to gone back. Maybe it's like, I don't know, 2075 or something and everything's gone to dust and wars have taken over and there's nothing much left. So people have gone back to old technology and they're finding oh, bits of metal plate and wheels and, and they're fixing their own vehicles so they can get from A to B and they try and find some, like in Mad Max, try and find some petrol to tip in there to get the machines going and you have inventors, crazy inventors, like the guy off Back to the Future, that kind of thing. So you could, you could create um, dark characters dressed in weird clothes, you could have uh, heroes who are trying to save the day, but with old technology. Maybe you could have, I don't know, somebody riding a horse in like the Wild West, but instead of um, a normal horse, it could be stainless steel and it could float above, above the ground. Anything at all. I mean, I've got a thing by here, there's a film called Nine, and that's got old technology, but it's a post-apocalyptic world. Uh, what else have we got here? Treasure Planet is another one. I had a little look around to see that Metropolis is was made in the 20s, I think. And the guy who made that, he could see a vision of what the future was going to look like. So, steampunk is anything and everything to do with, with machinery. With wheels and cogs and, and, and big trucks with big wheels. Anything you like. But put into a story... Uh, of adventure with maybe chases with I don't know like in Mad Max where vehicles are trying to get away and they've got these big vehicles pulling away and people on motorbikes which has been thrown together but look really cool and they're chasing them or there could be bridges maybe a mechanical bridge that uh, you're trying to get across but it's retracting it's made of um, steel and, and they've got to wind it back or reverse it so it stretches out it can be anything at all. So cram all old uh, steampunk kind of technology, steam-powered engines and stuff into a modern day setting and then have fantastic characters and take it from there. So I hope this has helped you all out. Um, I'm still writing different stories and I actually still use a little bit of steampunk in my stuff as well. So good luck with the competition. It's with Crystal Peak Publishers. Um, go onto their website and it's a steampunk competition. I think the deadline is Halloween around there. So check it out, send a story off, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.